They call it Greater St. Louis, spreading from MacArthur Bridge out past the Missouri and the Merrimack. streets. It's your home, your city. But it's a big city with streets you've never walked. With houses you've never entered. People you've never seen. This little girl is just as much a part of your city as the neighbor's girl you wave to on your way to work every morning. Of course, if you saw her as often as you see your neighbor's girl, if you knew she had pneumonia, you'd want to help her get the medical care she needs. But with only one pair of eyes, you can't see all the sick little girls in your city. Nor can you see the woman who lives alone, no longer cared for, no longer caring. She is your neighbor too. And if you knew about her and about all the others also alone, you'd try to help. Her friendless room is as much a part of St. Louis as city and county. But with only one pair of eyes, you can't see the whole city. When so many people live so close together, no one can know them all. No one can know all the families that need help, where the mother can't work because her children are too young, where a child is mentally retarded, where life seems hopeless and friendless with no place to turn. Of course, you'd try to help this family, and the one down the street, and the one in the next block, if you knew, and if you knew how, and if you knew who needs help first, who needs help the most, and if you had what they need to give them. If you knew how many youngsters in your city roam the streets in restless, destructive gangs, of course you'd help organize better activities for them. But you have your office or your shop. You can't be out all day looking for boys who have nothing to do or finding places for neighborhood centers. You'd like to help, but with only one pair of eyes, one pair of hands, in such a big city. If you could see the people whose lives are suddenly disrupted by unpredictable disaster, naturally, you'd want to help them any way you could. We interrupt this program for a special announcement. Tornado warnings have been issued for the St. Louis area, including... But in the moment of disaster, how could you be ready? How could you be there? you do? Where would you start? If you had 122 eyes to search the dingy, unfamiliar corners of your city and see the needs there. If you had 122 special kinds of training and skill. If you had playgrounds and x-ray machines. If you had piles of clothing and stacks of food. If you had a tower from which you could see all the streets into all the corners of your city at once in perfect detail, if in all of Greater St. Louis there were no one whose need you could not see, you'd do what you do now with your gift to the United Fund. 
The 122 agencies which you support through the United Fund are your 122 eyes to see the needs of your neighbors, to weigh them, and to recognize where to help most, where to help first. That's why you help the most when you give your most to the United Fund. In time of disaster, you have the emergency crews of the Red Cross trained and equipped to give your neighbors the help you'd want to give them until their life gets back to normal. Alerted by automatic communication systems, this help is ready always because you give to the United Fund. The 122 agencies you support through the United Fund know the whole city, know where recreational programs are most needed, know how to set them up and operate them effectively. With the 122 eyes of the United Fund, you are able to see all the needs of your city, and you have the equipment and skills to meet such needs as those of the retarded child. With your 122 eyes, you know where help is needed and what kind of help is best for a child and best for her mother. You have the eyes to see into lonely, forgotten rooms and friendly hands to lead the aged into better care and a new sense of belonging. Because you give to the United Fund, you have eyes to see the little girl with pneumonia and modern facilities to cure her. You have 122 eyes to see the needs, 122 skilled hands to help the way you want to help, because they are your neighbors, because it is your city. We know you want to support the United Fund because you've given so generously in the past. With such a big city with so many needs, this one gift to support 122 agencies is the most effective and the most sensible way of giving your neighbors the help you'd want to give them, if you only knew, and if you knew how. With 122 eyes to see your city's needs and to put the first ones first, and with 122 special skills to take care of these needs, you help the most when you give your most to the United Fund. You help the most when you give your most to the United Fund. But for many, the question remains, how much? Ultimately, of course, you're the only one who can answer that. But when you're thinking of your pledge for the year, won't you give at least one hour's pay each month? Out of each month's income, one hour's pay is little enough to support all the services that 122 agencies perform in your name. Give one hour's pay each month this year because you help the most when you give your most to the United Fund.